I saw an interview that you did in two years ago and you said something about, you know, I'm getting a divorce, I'm having a kid, my my life is getting closer to the end and I was really hoping you'd cheered up since then. Yeah, Have you cheered up? I, I cheered up <laughs> well, I mean, I went through a really tough time. You know, I'm, I stopped the party and I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything nasty I'm not supposed to do. I went back in the woodshed trying to find myself. Yeah, I did get a divorce and yeah, I had a beautiful baby son, got four kids. I'm healthier than I've ever been. And I'm, I'm taking the back nine of my life, to use a golf term, um, very seriously and very emotionally and, and forgiving myself. Yeah, there's a lot of stupid drunken YouTubes where I fucked up and overplayed or it's a default mode. You know, and you get nervous and whatever. And, and there's a lot of humiliation that I had to relive over and over and have a bunch of strangers rip me to shreds. Like a, you know, it's like drawn and quartered by strangers. Okay. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden I'm eviscerated in the backyard. And, and, you know, that's tough. That was tough. You know, put me in therapy. I mean... You have to take a good hard look at yourself. I mean, I've been doing this for 35 years on the road, mm -hmm. playing, making records. I've done a lot of stuff. I never fit into one genre, so I can switch over from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Like here I am on G3, and then I'm going to do Ringo, and then I'm going to do Toto. Not too many people do that. Mm -hmm. Now, I love every arena that I can be in. Mm -hmm. So some people, if they don't like a certain kind of music, and I show up, like maybe there's some people here that have warm, you know, give me the warm welcome. Some people are like, "What the hell is that guy doing? That total guy? Ugh. You know, he's not good enough to play with those guys." I'm going, "Look, they invited Joe. Invited me. You know, I mean, and I go out there. And I think there's a, a, some people I know that have been in the eyes of my record company and stuff. They said they've seen some young kids who had no idea who the hell I was. Mm -hmm. And they, and then I start playing. They go, "Oh yeah, I never heard of that guy. Ah, you know." And, and, you know, people go and buy a CD on the way out, maybe, because I'm not playing African and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Showing a different side, solo side, different, this is me, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not out here in competition, I'm, I, how dare I? Mm -hmm. But I'm out here to show another side of me, and I think it's, that's a really positive thing for me, how people dig it. If they don't, hey, they know where the bar is, right? <laughs>